Item number SCP ES 101J. Object class safe. Threat level pink. Classification given to objects that do not present a risk to the individuals exposed to it, but profoundly damage. Finding call into question the physical capabilities of the exposed person. Special containment procedures. SCP ES 101J is placed in the break room of Site 34. Members of the Applied Task Force Omega 99 open a freaking jar. Are allowed to make all attempts they deem necessary to open the object as long as they are acceptable to the project leader, Dr. Jacobo Malin. All activity or research will be suspended until the opening of SCP ES 101J under the direction of the Site 34 Director, Dr. Jacobo Malin. Description SCP ES 101J is a glass jar containing mango marmalade. Brand name redacted with a net weight of 440 grams. The object is not physically different from other bottles of the same brand. The main anomaly of SCP ES 101J consists in the fact that the lid of the object is freaking impossible to open. The freaking bitch won't open. Update has seen an abnormally high difficulty to be removed. SCP ES 101J was obtained by Director Malin from a supermarket with good deals where he purchased it to later move it to Site 34 and deposit it in the cupboard in the brick room along with a note that read Do not touch Malin taped on the object. Originally, Director Malin intended to use the contents of SCP ES 101J as an ingredient for his breakfast. The morning following the purchase of SCP ES 101J, the director attempted to remove the lid of the object several times without success. Engineer Santorosa, who was on the scene during the incident, decided to see if he was able to open the object. Santorosa attempted to open SCP ES 101J using a rag to get a better grip. The attempt failed. Agent Patterson, who was also on the scene, offered to open the jar, which resulted in another failed attempt. He then requested Santa Rosa's assistance to open the object between the two of them, which also failed. Researcher Mondragon, who was also watching the situation, approached and offered to open SCP ES 101J while mocking his co worker's lack of strength. After spending about 40 minutes trying to open SCP ES 101J using brute force as well as cutlery, one dragon gave up and the attempt was unsuccessful. Upset by the situation, Director Marlin declared SCP ES 101J an anomaly and formed ATF Omega 99. The detachment included many of the Site 34 personnel and members of the MTF stationed. At the site, Director Marin stated to the newly formed Omega-99 the following words, Nobody leaves until they open the freaking jar! The individual known as Nobody left Site-34 stating that he would return later at the time of the creation of Omega-99. The relationship between the two events is unknown. List of attempts to open SCPES 101 j Dr. Costello, use of brute force. Attempt failed. Dr. Dobo, use of brute force. Attempt failed. Dr. Costello, use of more brute force. Attempt failed. Attempts omitted for brevity. Dr. Von Braun, use a saw to cut the lid part of the jar. Attempt denied. How do you expect me to keep the jam if the jar is broken? It's going to rot like this. Dr. Martin. Research on one drug and use of food force. Attempt failed after half an hour. SCPES 234. Scratch and bite the lead. Attempt failed. More attempts omitted for brevity. Research of vendor. Put the object under hot water so that the lid dilates and breaks the vacuum of the flask. 
This was done while scouting the rest of the researchers for not using their heads despite having hundreds of PhDs all together. Attempt failed. Researcher Vander. The same attempt, but for longer. Attempt failed. Researcher Vander. The same attempt, but for much longer. Attempt failed. Researcher Vander. Use of brute force. Attempt failed. Primitive damage. Invocation by pharmaceutical means of an extra-dimensional entity to whom a blood sacrifice would be offered if he managed to open SCPES-101J. Attempt failed. Predator Dumich and the extra-dimensional entity. Use of brute force. Attempt failed. Even more attempts omitted for brevity. Three members of MDF Center 8. SCPES 101J is held by a press while the lid by a wrench. The MTF members would jointly push the wrench so that their combined force opens the jar. A then failed. The MTF members hit the ground hard when the wrench broke. Researcher Delaroy. A baseball bat. Attempt denied. Researcher Delaroy was admonished. Dr. Gonzalez. Use of brute force. Attempt failed. Dr. Gonzalez firing a 9mm at the jar. Attempt upfitted. The bullet fight ricocheted against the wall and almost wounded Agent Pens. Dr. Gonzalez was reprimanded. Update. After an appeal by the implication, it was decided to withdraw the reprimand. This is unfair. Agent Pens. Yes, Researcher Delaroy. Get a gun, and there you will have your justice, Dr. Gonzalez. <laughs> Many more attempts omitted for brevity. Dr. Ikane, use of brute force while screaming in frustration, attempt failed. Agent Shuffle, sang a song accompanied by an acoustic guitar to the object about how much he wanted it to open up so he could go home, attempt failed. Not so many attempts omitted for brevity as before. Dr. Yoko, the same thing he did hundreds of times before. Attempt failed. Dr. Yoko, the same thing he did hundreds of times before, but in the opposite direction. Attempt successful. Addendum. After SCP-ES-101-J was opened and analyzed, it was discovered that the object has a manufacturing error that caused it to open by turning it to the left and not to the right, as said normally would. Following this discovery, SCP-ES-101-J was reclassified as explained. This never happened, okay? Dr. Marlene. This fills me with a profound sense of dread. Dr. Blanca. Idiots. Dr. Reach.